After a relaxing afternoon and night at Madigan Claypan, we continue on east. We were passed by Darrell Beatty's Motorcycle Adventures Group early on with their large, wide truck. And in the early morning, we can see their wide tyre tracks in the sand. Camp 15 at the intersection of the Hay River Track and the Madigan Line. Yeah. Hay River going, track going past Stuart's car. Not many travelled that recently, there's no fresh tracks there. And here's our marker, Camp 15. come across this large red dune on the side of the track, which our fitness advisor Yuke decides to climb. At Camp 16, we leave the Hay River track and head east along the rest of the Madigan line heading for Camp 17. really enjoyed this section of the Madigan, beautiful dune country, perhaps a little less driven than the rest of it. We camped just past Camp 17 and hiked up onto a sand dune behind camp as we could see some weather coming in. And getting back to camp, two vehicles passed us, coming back from Well 18. They advised that the track further on, past Well 18, was flooded and impassable. So after some discussion, we made the decision to head back out to the Hay River track tomorrow and continue south from there. You can see the weather coming in the distance there. So we put up the drone for some footage before setting up for a storm which came in around dinner time quick dinner under the rear awning and we retreated to the rooftop camper for the night at about 8.30. The rain continued into the night, eventually easing, and we woke to a clear morning before we packed up and headed back past Camp 17 back to the Hay River track. We came across this beautiful snake. Researching it later, I think it may be an inland taipan, which is found in the uh, Simpson Desert area. We had a 
nice camp in among some gidgee trees again, just before the turn at the abandoned beachcomber number one oil well. The next day it was an easy drive south along the remainder of the Hay River track and then turned east crossing over a salt pan and onto the QAA line. June faces along the QAA line have been really cut up from the volume of traffic on the track and that made for slow and bouncy trips up and down most of the dunes. Stuart had a little failed to proceed moment, but no problems with lots of advice. He backed down and made a second attempt. We found a fantastic clay pan about 15 k's before the start of the Air Creek bypass. So we put the drone up to show you the area we're camped in before getting a fire going for the evening to cook on and to sit around for a while as the nights are getting pretty cold now but still and clear. bypass of the Air Creek but about at least 10 to 15 k's before the actual bypass so we're well and truly getting around the flooded area. Good. Keep going. Go. <laughs> <laughs>
was on to the big red dune for a play. I got up in low range that time. Stuart elected to go up the easy track, but we grouped up at the top for some photos and then on into Birdsville, which marks the end of our trip across the Madigan Line.